Hi, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to use uh, the Query Wizard to create a simple query in Microsoft Access 2016. Uh, the first thing you'd need to do is open up the database which is called GameStock Database 2018 which should be located on the open drive or downloaded from the E9 database unit. As soon as you open up uh, Access um, with the, the relevant file you'll see on the left hand side where it says tables you should see games catalog if you click on that you should see all of the uh, games that are inside the database these are all the files that, that are already in the database and we're going to create a new query now to do this we move a mouse up to the top of the menu where it says create and then we locate the query wizard which is just there if we click on that and then we want to use a simple query wizard so we click OK and now we got presented with the table of the games catalog and all of the different field names Now we want to add all of these so we click on the double chevron then click next and then click next on this set uh, particular screen and then we want to give the query a sensible name now for this particular query um, I'm going to search for the 3 plus age category games so I'm going to call it 3 plus query and then I'm going to click on the modify query design so I can actually edit it and specify the criteria Then simply click on finish this brings up the uh, design window where you can see all of the relevant fields um, which is what we want to look at and we're going to look at the age rating as you can see, if you go down below the age rating and cross, we can see it says criteria. So in here, we're going to put a speech mark, and then we're going to put three plus, and close the speech mark. So you can see that it's looking for whatever's inside those speech marks, which is three plus games under age rating. So now if we go up to the top menu and click on run, it should run and show the results of that query. A query really is simply a search of a database. Don't forget that these tabs are still open at the top. You've got the table, the new query we just created. You click on the X. Don't forget to say yes to saving the changes. And then if we go to the left hand side pane and click on the drop down and click queries, we can see our newly created query has been saved for us. And that's it really. So simply you need to follow that same process to create your own queries and you've got five to do in total um, and then you need to say, show screenshots and upload those for your badges. Thank you for watching this tutorial.